Hi, it's Mike here. One of the frequently asked questions what I finally decided to tackle today is when I said about setting up your own router, right, for AT&T or Comcast or, um, you know, any other third party provider, I often say, okay, make sure you save your settings on your router and then reboot. And no, rebooting does not mean unplugging the power and plugging it back in. That's kind of one of those things where you use to troubleshoot uh, certain things where it's frozen and you can't get into the web interface. The best way to do this is to shut it down properly or reboot it properly. So rebooting it properly is the best way to go about this. So the way you do that is you log into your router. And in this case, of course, I'm using Netgear. And as I mentioned in my previous videos, I use the Orbi mesh system. The, uh, the specific one doesn't really matter. They all kind of function like this. So when you log in, it'll come to this page. What you want to do is just click on advanced. It's going to take a little while to load, but as you can see right here, it becomes very apparent where the reboot function is, and it's right here. All you got to do is click reboot, right? And then I think it pops up and asks you if you want to do it, right? Are you sure you want to do it? Now, I'm not going to do it right now because we have, uh, we're working, we work at home. So there's a lot of things going on right now in the background, but basically you click yes. That's is how you want to properly reboot uh, a Netgear, let's say a Netgear router or a Netgear system, okay? So it's, it's very basic, very simple to do. Uh, I think like a lot of people don't realize just how simple it is to do that. And that's what you do. You, you don't want to set the settings in here and then unplug the power. Uh, that could be very harmful and it could be very bad because... Uh, you know, you maybe you have some updates going on or maybe there's something critical that's being updated going on and you don't know for sure whether or not that is, um, you know, finish or complete. So basically rebooting the router, it should be fine. Now, most of the time, if you unplug the router and then replug it back in, that does kind of reset it. Uh, you're better off going to the back of the router and in my case, mine actually has a little button that you press. It's just the button you press, it powers it off. That is probably better than just unplugging the power and plugging it back in. You really only unplug the power, wait 30 seconds to a minute or so. Probably, it's probably better to, to wait about a minute or two, depending on, on the system, okay? But for the Nekir Orbi system, it doesn't take a super long time to boot. Uh, and I'd say unplugging it, replugging it back in within five minutes is usually pretty safe. You want it to f let it finish doing the full reboot uh, before you continue with things. Now, as far as the system resets or if, you, if something gets corrupted during an update, I think it, it's pretty fail safe. But, um, you know, I, I just don't know. All right. Uh, I haven't had that issue before because that's pretty much what I do. I make sure I do the soft reboot or um, make sure that things are completely saved and confirmed. Once you save your settings, go back in there, you know, just log out, log back in, all right? Log back into your router. And once you log in, then you just confirm that all the settings that you had wanted to set were actually saved. All right, and you do that and then you reboot. Okay, well, that, that's a quick little video. Hopefully this answers your questions about this and at, at least for the Netgear side. Um, every single manufacturer is a little bit different, but you're just looking for the reboot or shutdown uh, function. Usually they don't have a shutdown because these are not things that you typically shut down. And uh, the user guide or user manual usually lets you know whether or not it's okay. Reboot or shut it down by unplugging power, right? A, a lot of systems are okay. Sometimes it will mess things up. Okay, so do the reboot. Please give us a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.